Today is August 22nd. There we go, a little bit better. All right, so today is August 22nd here, and uh, our buoy tent update for today is going to be pretty straightforward. So yesterday I talked about how I didn't think the bite was going to go up there at Tongue Point, and I ended up getting suckered into going up there, but frankly, it was not nearly as good as it was yesterday or the day before. And that is because a lot of the fish have flushed up. The amount of fish that I saw on the graph today was a tenth of what we saw the last couple of days. And that was pretty evident by the amount of fish I saw caught. Way fewer fish caught there today than the last day or two. Um, it was tough, it was a grind. But on top of that, it was really, really foggy out, extremely foggy, it was windy, it was pretty tough to manage the boat. And such slow current, you gotta slow your gear down because you have two different currents that are stacked. And uh, so when we're trolling with the tide, you have the incoming tide pushing up, but then you have stagnant still water down on the bottom. And so your gear gets scoped way out, even with 16 ounces of lead. So even in 35 feet of water, I was going 75 on the line counter just to get them down there near the deck. Um, but at any rate, way fewer fish. And I was planning on fishing the Washington side today. That didn't happen. I got suckered in there. Like I said, uh, my crew, we didn't start until about 9 o'clock. And so right before we left the dock, I was making a bunch of phone calls trying to figure out exactly where the bite was happening. And I got pretty much the same re reports from the Oregon side and Washington side. I talked to guys at Waco, at Hammond, um, up there at Tongue Point, around the bridge on the Oregon and Washington side. Everyone was saying the same thing. Yeah, we're catching a few, but it's not wide open. You know, a few here, a few there, but not fantastic. So I just went to what had been working for me the last couple of days. We went up there, we grinded out our fish, we got our kings, some really nice, good quality ones, a couple right at 25 pounds, awesome but it was tough. I mean, you had to be on point on your game to make sure your gear was fishing just perfectly. Otherwise, you struggled. And uh, I know a lot of guys up there today that did really well, and a lot of guys up there today that didn't get a bite. So, uh, game plan for tomorrow? I don't know. Uh, I got an idea where I'd like to fish just because of looking at my past reports and my log. I got an idea where I want to start, but I'm going to wait until a little bit later on today to talk to a few more guys and get a good feel for what's happening. Uh, I've, I know I mentioned this in the last three, four years, but these fish will move 15, 20 miles a day easy, especially as these tides grow. So it has nothing to do with what happened today and everything to do with where are they tomorrow. Um, so this information might be interesting or intriguing but I guarantee you it really will not help you out that much tomorrow because frankly, it doesn't help me out that much because we're always out there guessing. And that's where, you know, a few days ago, I mentioned having your network, getting on the phone a lot, that definitely helps. So if you have buddies that are down here, that will absolutely help. Divide and conquer. You know, that's what a lot of us do down here. We know where different guys are fishing. We're always checking in with each other every half hour. Hey, what's going on? What are you seeing? We're adjusting where we're at. Hey, if we're catching a 30 foot line, then we go back over there. So um, that's kind of basically what happened here today, but uh, these tides start growing. Oh, one thing that did happen today, there were a lot of coho caught today from Iwako all the way on up to above the bridge. A lot of coho, which is excellent to see. Usually we don't see that big wad of coho show up until we start getting into the eight, nine foot tides, uh, which are coming later on this week, which will be great for when the Chinook closure happens. There should be a lot of coho in the lower river. So very good, very good to see. Um, okay, short, simple, and sweet. Last couple of updates have been 10, 15 minutes long. We're going to keep this one direct and to the point. All right, we will see you tomorrow. I'll let you know how it goes.